Hello all I am Prasad and welcome to Automation Insights Today we are going to see how to check if the required sheets are present in the excel file In almost 90% of our projects we starts with an excel file it may be and reading the config file or reading the input file and then loading that data into the queue so the starting point of our project is the excel file and to read the excel file we need the sheet name sometimes the sheet name we are giving in the read range may not be available in the excel file so at that time of the process the bot can throw an exception so to handle that kind of exception we can check the sheet names before the process starts so if the sheet names available the process may start if it is not available we may terminate the process so today we can see how to do this kind of checks using the link method so before we begin we need to create an list or array to specify what are the sheets we want so let's create an array variable so the variable name is array valid sheets and then we need to specify the type so it's the array of string so let's select string from the drop down and then click okay so now we want to specify the sheet names so let's drag and assign activity and then in the two we need to specify the variable name and then in the value we need to give the sheet names so it is an array of string data type so new string of the sheet names we want so the, there are two sheet names we want the name and the age so let's close this window and then we need to select the excel application scope so type excel so in the modern design experience we may not find the excel application scope so we need to use use excel file and then we need to select the excel file so i have already created an sample excel file and the name is sample.xlsx so let's select it and then we need to use another activity called get workbook sheets so before reading the workbook we need to see what is the sheets that the excel file contains so let me open the excel file so there are five sheets present input name age result output so the two sheets we want is name and age so both are present as of now so let me close the excel file so now we can use the activity called get workbook sheets so let me type sheets and then i try to find it okay let me type get workbook sheets okay it is not available because my project was in modern design so let's click the filter and then we need to select so classic so now we can see the activity and then we need to drag it so let's create an output for this so it is an list of string so each uh, item in the list will be a sheet name so let's open the variables panel and we can see it is a list of string so let me change the scope and then minimize the variables panel so let me minimize this as well so now we need to check if the sheets are present in the excel file so we can use an if activity and check if the sheet is present so drag an if activity and then we can start writing the link query so let me open the expression editor so the array variable which we manually created dot the method name all so it will return true if all of the conditions inside this method will be true so function of a temporary variable name valid sheet so it can be anything so now i give valid sheet name so now we need to give the sheet names so it is the list of string which we get from the get workbook sheets activity dot any so it will loop through all the sheet names in the excel and then it will check if the sheet name is present or not so we need to again give the function and then the excel sheet name so and then we need to compare the one which we manually created and the one we get from the excel so we need to give excel sheet name dot so we need to trim it and then we need to put an method called equals which will compare the two string variables so and then inside this we need to give the valid sheet name so what it is doing is so it will loop through the array variable so first it will get the sheet name called name and then store it into this variable now it will loop through the list of string which we get from get workbooks activity 
and then it will store the first value in the excel sheet name compare that with the name so the value sheet name contains the value called name so if it is matching it will return true likewise it will loop through the next sheet name which is ch so likewise it will loop through all the sheet names in the array and then all the sheet names in the list of string so now we need to put a message box and check if it is written true or false so if all the sheet names are present it will return true so we can put the message box as all these required sheets are present and if it is false we can put as seats missing or something like that so let me type seats missing let's run this workflow and see if it is written true or false so it will return true because the both the seat names name and age is present in the excel file so let me run it So you can see that the message box, all the required seats are present. That means both the seats name and age is present in the Excel file. So let me open the Excel file and then we can see the seat names name and age is present. So let me change the seat name age to DOB, which is date of birth and then close the Excel file. So if I run the workflow now, it will return false because the seat age is not present in the Excel file only the seat name is present so let me run it now you can see the message box required seats missing so if it is missing you can terminate the process or do the alternate steps as per your need so today we see how to check if the required seats are present in the excel file in the next video, we will see how to check if the required columns are present in the data table.